In this episode, we're going to talk about the crown and why does it look so sparse. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. My name is Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash. Thanks again for watching and please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about a specific area on the scalp uh, which really bothers a lot of people and that's the crown, the, uh, the top of the head. So what happens, I get a lot of people uh, and it's a very common occurrence that someone will come to me and say, uh, Vikram, I'm losing hair, uh, and it's, it's mainly at the, at the back, and the back is looking really sparse, and I really want to do something about it, and I'm concerned about it. And what we'll do is we'll have a look at the area, we'll examine it uh, with the naked eye, and then we'll, we'll use a uh, dermatoscope and magnification and have a look at the area. And when we do that, uh, we, we will see that actually there's virtually no miniaturization there. All right, so there's no evidence of androgenic alopecia, male pattern hair loss in that area. So, but, but I say that to people and they go, but no, the, the, the top actually looks sparse. So that's what I want to address today because it's a common occurrence and it really boils down to an optical illusion. And why does the crown always look thinner than any other part of the hair? All right, so what it's got to do with is the direction of the hair. So if we look at the, the front as an example, the front of the head, uh, or the, near, the, near the front of the hairline, the hair, generally speaking, unless you've got a calf lick, but generally for most people, the hair is f um, laid in one direction. So ha hair will be uh, laid upon, you know, as, as it comes forward, one on top of the other. And therefore, it gives the sense of greater density, more thickness, because light is not able to shine through the hair onto the scalp and reflect back onto your eyes. So it's that layering effect that really assists us in giving us that uh, look or, or that optical illusion of greater density. The issue with the crown is that most of us have what is known as a whirl. All right, and a whirl is just the design of the hair. Now, some people, most people have one, some people actually have two. And what essentially happens is the whirl is, is really dictated by the direction of the hair. And in that scenario, the hair flows in 360 degrees. So what we have, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, what you have is you have the central portion and hair the direction uh, flowing out in all 360 degrees and, and most people it, it forms a, a spiral like so and kind of like a flower where it's opening up the central portion the central part of that becomes obviously more see-through because it's opened up like that and so people see that and that central portion there and they go well that's see-through and I can actually see that area and that is and that's and that's just normal that's it's what is happening is because the, the hair is opening out now when we're um, Transplanting into that area, if you've already got some existing hair and just thinning out a little bit and we need to transplant into that area, we actually have to recreate that uh, whirl as well. And so the, the hair needs to flow in all 360 degrees. So it's actually the optical illusion of why, uh, of the direction of the hair that causes it to appear more thin than say other parts of the scalp. So I hope that answers your question. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.